Hello friends! Welcome back to my vlog. It is the 2nd? Yeah, the 2nd of November. I'm starting a new vlog because I'm currently editing the previous one and I got something exciting in the mail that I wanted to open with you guys, so let's do that now. So I got a new item from Sticker Mule. And it is my very first time trying this type of product. So I'm a bit nervous, <laughs> as always. But let's see, here's their free stickers they send. Ah! Oh my gosh. My goodness these turned out so cute ah okay so it looks like they have a protective covering I'm gonna take it off on this one just so I can see what like see what it looks like without that oh that's satisfying <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it so much. So I only got 10 of these because that was the deal that they had going. And I just kind of wanted to see how it would turn out. But ee, I love them. It is now Friday the 6th. And I just woke up. <laughs> I have a lot to do today. I want to respond to some YouTube comments. Um keep watching election coverage. I've been doing that <laughs> nonstop for the past few days. It's very interesting. I've never watched an election this closely because I've never really had that much invested in one. But it's it's really kind of intriguing to see the numbers go back and forth and the different paths to winning and how that can change, you know, within an hour. So yeah, I've been having some fun with that, um, just seeing how it all works in real time. Anyway, so after I respond to some YouTube comments, I want to, there's a lot of things I need to do. I need to get set up for the eHearts online market that's starting tomorrow. And then I'm hoping that I can finish um, the Patreon sticker sheet today to have that out today. So that's my other major goal. And I might be able to make some of those stickers into die cut stickers to put in the shop also. And I'd also like to create like a little mock convention setup for the market that, you know, looks like I've got my products out and everything. I don't know if I'll have time to do that, but I'd really like to do that because I think it would be fun. Um, one of the things that Emily Harvey has said is that we should do, you know, Instagram lives and stuff. So I might try to do that this weekend. I don't I've never done a live and I'm not very good live if you notice in my videos there's a lot of jump cuts that's because I'm taking out a lot of dead space where I'm sitting there trying to figure out what I was gonna say and that happens a lot for me so I'm not very good live but maybe I'll try it we'll see anyway that's what I'm up to this morning um, wish me luck that I can get it all done So it's the next day, it's Saturday. Yesterday I did finally finish the sticker sheet for my patrons, so today I'm going to try and get those printed out and ready to go out on Monday. And I also decided that instead of a second different sticker sheet for the $12 patrons, I'm going to do a die cut sticker set with some larger versions of the stickers. So hopefully they like that this month. I also did some prep and everything for the eHearts online market that I'm participating in this weekend. It's my first online market. So um, back here I set up a little booth 
a very small one because I don't have everything printed right now, but I set up a little booth and took a picture and um, did an Instagram story with it and then with my face and <laughs> stuff like that. So hopefully some people check that out. There's a lot of other creators too, so I, I link to a lot of them because I think it'd be great if we all did amazingly this weekend. <laughs> So I have gotten two orders this morning already and I have to get some of that stock printed and cut so that I can get those orders sent out and also do the Patreon stuff. So I'm gonna be working on that most of today probably. So it's Sunday night now and I'm about to package all these Patreon packages to go out tomorrow and finally got everything done. I thought I'd just have a little chat with you guys while I package these instead of doing like a time lapse. A little more interesting that way and I have stuff to say anyway. So I'm gonna keep my hands busy while I chat with you. But yeah, basically what I wanted to talk about is my video schedule because what I have... I forgot my bags. Where'd they go? Anyway, basically what I wanted to talk about was my upload schedule because I am finding it very difficult sometimes to keep a consistent schedule and I think part of that is because I want to do certain types of videos but I don't end up being able to get the artwork done in time for the video so for instance I want to do the six fan arts challenge which I did start and I got one of them done but I don't want to post it till I have all of them done you know and that takes a long time because I'm slow at drawing and also at the same time most people don't really like watching just speed paints so that ends up being a lot of time for a video that most people won't enjoy anyway if that makes sense added to that most of the time I have to work on traditional art tends to be in the evening, which is fine, but the lighting is bad. <laughs> For If I was to do a whole video on a watercolor painting, which I've been trying to do, what ends up happening is that I have to wait until the weekend to work on that so that I have light in the daytime when I'm not at work. But the problem then becomes, if I don't finish it in one day, then I don't get to work on it again for a whole week. And that's what happened this time. I was supposed to release the watercolor video next, but I only got a couple of layers done on it because I want to really take my time and make it great. And I know a lot of art YouTubers have this problem, the problem between making an awesome piece of artwork or posting on a regular schedule because what you do is you end up making subpar artwork so that you can get the video up in time. And the only one that I've really seen do something successful to fix that is, well, and I mean, there probably are some others, but the one that I've seen talk about having this problem who did something to fix it is Bailey J where 
she decided to just do vlog style videos, which I also do anyway, and show her progress on whatever art she's working on within that week in the video or that day because she does daily vlogs. Um, and then that way you get to still see the artwork and everything, but you don't have to watch a whole video that's a speed paint. And usually, you know, there's other stuff included, so it's not boring for those people who don't like watching speed paints. I know there's people who don't like watching vlogs too. So that's another thing that's been on my mind because a lot of my subscribers probably don't enjoy that kind of content either, but I feel like it's the best way to get to know me is to watch my vlogs because if you're watching one of my art videos, I kind of have that business voice, you know, or like phone voice, if you guys know what that means, is where you answer the phone and you talk in a different voice than you normally would. <laughs> um, I definitely have a phone voice and when I'm doing like a particular video on a particular artwork, I feel like I have to be all professional. Like, it's, I don't think it's something that I'm thinking consciously when I'm making these videos, but like, that's what I tend to do. I, I go into phone voice me <laughs> and those end up being less of my personality, you know? That and I don't really enjoy them as much because I don't get to do the fun editing. I mean, sometimes it's fun, but like, if I'm doing a video that's one painting or a speed paint or a digital like drawing, there's only so much you can do with that. And I feel like that's part of the reason people don't like watching them as much is just because short attention spans maybe. I definitely feel that. But basically what I'm trying to get down to is Right now, I work full-time, I'm a full-time mom, obviously, and I also do Patreon and my Etsy shop, and then I also try to do YouTube, and I feel like I'm struggling to meet all those ends, um, and what usually ends up going by the wayside is my sleep. <laughs> or YouTube because it's the the thing that takes the longest because I have to figure out what the video is going to be, get the artwork done for the video, and then edit the video. And if I ever manage to get to the point where I can work from home and do art full time, then I'd have a lot more time to get to the, all the videos that I want to make that are art focused rather than vlogs and stuff because I have a list that's like three miles long of videos that I want to make that I haven't been able to work on because they just take too long. So I think what I'm going to do is do more of the studio vlog style videos and try to do one a week. Um, if I'm really focusing on vlogging as my main videos, I will probably film more. So. Maybe I'll have more than just once a week content, but I don't know because I don't know how long it would take me to edit more than one day a week, you know? So I was just thinking, if I do studio vlog stuff, then I can show you guys everything I'm working on as I'm working on it and it'll, it'll be current. Um, and my vlogs won't be so behind all the time because I'll be putting them out closer to when the stuff is actually happening. So I just feel like that would be better. And I know that there's probably going to be some people who, wow, I actually got through all of my thank you cards. Well, all of the ones that I had trimmed the corners, I have to trim the corners of more so I can have enough for my Patreon packages. But anyway, I know there's going to be some people who don't prefer that type of video. And it's totally cool if you decide to stop watching those. <laughs> but I do intend to still make a few art-focused videos, especially when I do collaborations and things like that. I will still do ones that are focused only on that one subject. 
but I think I'm gonna give myself a break on my typical content and also at the same time try to be able to post more regularly by allowing myself to do the kind of video I I prefer doing and studio vlogs are what I prefer watching too. I like watching art videos and I will do so but my favorite types to watch are definitely the studio vlogs. I feel like I get to know people's personalities so much better when I get to watch them in their everyday lives and, you know, see how they do things behind the scenes. I find it really interesting and I know a lot of other people do too. So I think that's going to be where my focus is going forward from now, at least for a while. I still have the goal to become self-employed again and have it work out for me this time. I really want to make that happen because it's it's my dream, you know? I think about it all the time and I just want to go for it and do it, but I need to actually be making some income before I can do that. And I'm very lucky to have a great job with a great boss. Wow, there's a lot of something going on in my house right now. With a great boss who understands what I'm trying to do and she's, you know, one of my best friends and she's so supportive but when I'm spending eight hours a day four days a week not working on art stuff and then I also have to do chores around the house and make dinner and play with the kids and give some attention to the husband sometimes take care of the pets and make sure I have at least one sticker sheet done every month for Patreon and I'd, I'd love to be able to do more for Patreon and do a sticker sheet and a print um, and I do have that on my top tier right now but nobody signed up for it so I'm not too concerned about it yet <laughs> but if anyone does then I need to be able to have the time to dedicate towards doing that and I want to do an illustration like a big print worthy illustration one per month anyway because I just it was one of my goals at the beginning of the year and it I totally have failed at it and I feel like I just don't have enough big pieces like that that I'm proud of to use for prints or maybe a calendar in the future so I have all these thoughts going on and all these things I want to do and I just have to admit to myself that I can't do all of them at the same time and expect to do all of them well. <laughs> Which is frustrating because I literally want to do all of them and not give any of them up. And right now I'm not giving any of them up, but I am allowing myself to be a little bit more self-indulgent with my YouTube and just do the content that I have the most fun with and that's also the easiest for me to do and the easiest to edit and put together and post on a weekly basis. But it might not be the content that gets the most views on my channel. My vlogs tend to have a lot less engagement than my art-focused videos, but I think it's just what I have to do right now, and I'll, I'll put an art video in whenever I can that's just based on one subject. Hello, baby. Yeah, that's my... My thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments if you've ever experienced something like this and maybe have an opinion <laughs> or have done something similar. I don't know if I'll change my mind on it right away. I want to give it a try and see how I like it. I do keep changing things on my YouTube every once in a while just to see what I like best and how I work best and what works for me. Hi. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I can't pack my packages when you're right here. No, look, your tail's on the stickers. So yeah, anyway, I'll stop babbling on about that right now. I finish up these packages. I am going to package the three orders I got this weekend. So thank you so much to the three people who ordered from my shop. I really appreciate you. So I'm gonna pack those orders finish packing Patreon to go out tomorrow, and hopefully edit this video 
And so with that thought in mind, I might be able to throw in what I have so far on the watercolor artwork I've been working on. But see, my mind is going, oh, but it, you don't have very much and it doesn't look very good yet. So you don't want people to see that. You want them to be able to see the finished result. And I do. But I'm trying to get used to this whole film whatever I'm working on and show it to you once a week thing. So maybe I'll put that in here. My patron Tina sent me these paints a while ago now and I have been so excited to use them and oh man, let me say swatching these was a very satisfying experience. They're so pigmented and they're just beautiful colors. I really like the sparkly ones especially. I definitely have to find a way to incorporate those into the final painting. I was also excited to use my new palette from my friend Caitlin in the Netherlands. That was in my last vlog where I opened that and it was so fun to use. I loved it. So first I decided to just do um, a layer all over the whole piece of just a light brown to kind of do an undertone for everything. I think I'm going to try to do all of the kind of shading first and then go in with color on top and hope it works like kind of a overlay layer if I was doing digital art or multiply layer. So I'm going to try that. These paints are very pigmented and they're a lot more opaque than the other watercolors I have. So it's taking me a bit to get used to how to mix them to get the kind of opacity that I want and how much water to put in and everything. But so far I'm cautiously optimistic about how the final piece is going to turn out and I do know that either way I'm enjoying it a lot. So thank you so much Tina for sending me these paints. I can't wait to finish this up and I hope it ends up good enough to send to you. <laughs>
Okay, now I'm gonna stop blabbing. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog and I appreciate you so much for being here. Yeah, leave a comment and let me know what you think and I will talk to you next time. <laughs> Bye everybody. <laughs> <laughs>